my Panthers! My name is Chef Detroit and welcome back to another episode of DTV. First, let's get things cooking with a music documentary by Liberty Smith. My name is Jamie, my rap name is JL, and I'm in 10th grade. And the reason I chose JL as my rap name is my first initial of my real name is Jamie, and it's J. And my last name is Lindholm, so I thought it would, it would be creative to just spell it out as in J A Y E L. I was like around 13 years old. Um, I lost a lot of like my friends to suicide and some of my family members to like old age and stuff like that. And music was always like a way for me to express how I always felt in life. And I started listening to like you know emo SoundCloud rappers like. Juice World and Lil Peep and XXX Tentacion. And I found like, oh, well this, this is like a talent that not a lot of people have. So if I were to communicate through lyrics and actual like, like music just in general, then maybe I could like, you know, be like a better person and help a lot of people out. Get ready for a long-awaited return of Finding Fire Fits by Emerson Godwing and Emma Kelly. I draw my inspiration from 90s fashion and like hip-hop and just the R&B scene back in the 90s. I really love sneakers. The qualities that I look for for sneakers is making sure that they're legit. I check all my sneakers and make sure that they're real. The style that I think I tend to go for is more like streetwear. I feel like sometimes I like to dress up, like I'll put like a dress on or like slacks or something. My style can be all over the place. Sometimes I'll dress streetwear, sometimes I'll go more on like the darker look or sometimes I'll go for like a clean it girl, or sometimes I'll try to look like a rich, bougie. I feel like black goes with everything. Also just green, light colors like purple or pink. I get my inspo from Pinterest, magazines, because my mom has like old magazines, and so I'll just look at those and be like, oh that's like cute, like, and I'll just get my inspo from there. Next up, we have One Minute Spots by Caden Kinezi, Ajax Ivy, Jay Chavez, and Josh Packard. My name is Richard Schultz. I am the director of theater at Derby High School. In room I1 and I2 and a whole lot of others in the stage and lots of space here. This is actually my 29th year at Derby High School, uh, 34th year overall. Uh, I've taught math and computer science for 17 years. And the last 17 have been the director of theater. I don't think I can say favorite class. It becomes favorite concepts. Favorite concepts I really have are the children's show that we're just starting with repertory theater. The puppets. We enjoy building puppets. We're looking forward to, to putting a puppet show together and going on tour again. Do I enjoy teaching the theater kids? No, not at all. And there's not a sarcastic bone in my body. Soft tissue is a different matter. I've loved it. Again, I, I enjoy teaching, but the, the big difference is when you're teaching math, a lot of your students are required to be in the class. Computer science, you, you've got a lot of students that are very intelligent, but mm, sometimes a little lacking on the social skills. And in the theater world, we definitely have the social skills 
skills together. So classes are much more relaxed in terms of how we deal with each other and a lot more enjoyable in terms of just the students want to be in class and the, the discipline issues are almost non-existent. Our main stage shows are two a year. That's 34 main stage shows that I've directed. We do a children's show and a puppet tour and we have done those almost every year for the last 15. So there's another 30 shows. So we're at 69 at this point. We've also done a number of years. We did a Renaissance Feast in December. There have been one acts that I've directed. Uh, and then if you go back before that, I was the technical director for most of 10 years. And we were involved in four to six shows a year for most of those 10 years. So I've kind of lost track of how many real shows it is, but over 100. My advice would be just do it. Uh, we're not looking for the absolute most fantastic actors on the planet because we're not going to have all of them. If you want to be involved, come be involved. That's really it. Just come be involved. We will put you to work somewhere. We can. You can work technical. We can work on stage. You can work off stage. We've got lots of jobs that need to be done, and there's lots of roles that need to be filled. Just come, come be part, and you'll enjoy it. Don't worry about it. I can place it um, and, and within it's just so a few tired. minutes, they would ask the question. I'm just sitting there about half asleep because I was tired. Miss Helen, most kids call me Miss Helen. I am known as Miss uh, Old Carter too, or Miss Carter. I have lots of names. I'm the media clerk here in uh, Derby High School, and uh, I help to uh, service all the students, all the teachers, and all the staff within the building, making sure they have all their uh, books, library books, textbooks. We also help service them for uh, Chromebooks technology too. We do have a technology department, we kind of partner up with them and work side by side with them. One of our main jobs within the library setting is uh, checking out uh, Chromebooks for students. We have a certain amount of loaner computers that we uh, let students borrow for a blog. And sadly, you know, we don't have as many as we would like and so we cannot let students have them all day. And this sometimes runs into a problem because we run out of computers before everybody has one. And, uh, you know, so students then run into problems with not being able to complete assignments, you know, not being able to do their schoolwork. Um, troubleshooting for this would probably be something like uh, charging computers at home. If uh, students could remember to do that, that would uh, cut out a lot of the uh, need for the computers. It's becoming a regular issue where we run out of computers and we have to turn students away. We can charge uh, computers here for them too if they uh, don't have their charges with them, which I'm sure kind of helps a little bit. inspired you to be a chef? Well, it all started when my uncle, Chef Albuquerque, was bombarded by bad reviews from Chef Grom Grom Ramsey. He never recovered, and after that, I vowed to make the best restaurant ever. Out of all of your signature dishes, which do you enjoy making the most? Oh, that's hard, because I only ever make them like once. Um, hmm. Probably... Probably the shrimp broth. It's a classic. Do you have any hobbies other than being a chef, of course? Nope. Only thing I'm good at. Only thing I can do. Legally. I'm binded to the cookbook. Next question. We've all seen your amazing restaurant, but where did you get started? I started at Red Lobster. I made zucchini bisque. At Red Lobster. Only thing I made. Red bisque, zucchini bisque, red lobster. I'd like to ask you one final question for this interview, just to kind of wrap it all up. Chef Detroit, do you ever plan on expanding to a secondary location? What, like the Krusty Krab too? No! I can only run there one place. And finally, we have... It's sports time.
Unfortunately, the boys basketball team lost 63-73 to against May South on the 20th. They were also just barely defeated by Hutch in a close intense match, losing by 5 points. Congratulations to senior Addie Brown to making to the McDonald's All-American Games section. The girls basketball team tournament will be held today through Saturday the 28th at Emporia. The first game is tonight at 7pm against Shawnee Mission East. Tonight there will also be a swim and dive meet at campus and senior night for the wrestling team here at home. That's it for today. We'll catch you next episode on DTV.